Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to our channel. It, today we're gonna address a question that we get all the time from folks is, when I'm bidding at an online auction, like specifically an online REO auction, uh, what is this hold on my credit card that I get when I place a bid? Paul, do you wanna kind of dive into that a little bit? Yeah, I know on every different site, it's a little bit different, right? So whether it's auction.com, you're gonna have a $2,500 hold and you'll have a particular auction that'll go in. And it won't be necessarily in one area, it could be all over the country, so that's something you gotta be cognizant of. HubZoo is individual, to each property you're putting a hold on. Um, Hudson Marshall uh, doesn't have that, but they do on Zome. Zome has it, and again, it'll cover the um, usually the whole auction, same, yeah. just the same as well on others. So I guess a good strategy for someone that has maybe limited funds on their credit card, not to get it dinged up too much, and they want to say bid on ten properties, and each hold is twenty five hundred dollars. That gets you to you know twenty twenty five k pretty quick then, right? From a hold perspective. So it's yeah. almost you want to maybe target those auction sites that have one auction and they put just one hole in your card. That way you could bid on 20 some properties without being charged that much. Just, I, that might be a strategy, I'm guessing, for someone newer starting out that doesn't have that credit limit. I agree. Yeah. Maximize how many you can bid on and try to get rather than just a onesies and twosies, try to get, you know, 10, 20, 30 that you can bid on for yeah. sure. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yep. Well, yeah, hopefully, you know, if you guys uh, have any more questions on this, let us know. and. In the meantime, see you at the next video. Yep, catch you soon, guys.